Welcome to the channel Santa Lecture. Here we present another video which includes section 54, 55 and 56 under chapter 9 Patents of Addition which comes under Indian Patents Act 1970. These sections are very much important in Indian Patents Act 1970. Section 54 Patents of Addition Subsection 1 where an application is made for a patent in respect of any improvement or modification of the invention and which is termed as main invention and the applicant applies or has applied for a patent for that invention or is the patentee in respect the controller may if the applicant requests grant the patent for the improvement or modification as patent of addition. Say an applicant files a patent application. He will be applicant before grant and he will be termed as patentee if the application has been granted. Now either as an applicant or as an patentee, he improves or modifies his invention and files another patent application. Then the first one will be the main invention. Now, if he requests the controller in proper way, then the controller may grant the patent of improvement or modification as patent of addition. Subsection 2. Where an invention being an improvement or modification of the another one is the subject of independent patent and patentee in respect of that patent is also the patentee in respect of the patent of main invention. Then if the patentee requests, the controller may revoke the patent for the improvement or modification and grant to the patentee the patent of addition, bearing the same date as the date of the patent so revoked. Say so patentee has one main invention which has already been granted. Now he improves or modifies, which can be itself an independent patent. Now patentee, if he requests the controller, the controller may revoke the main invention and grant the improved or modified patent application having the same date as the revoked patent. Section 54, subsection 3. A patent shall not be granted as patent of addition unless date of filing of the application is same or later than the date of filing of the main invention. Subsection 4 says a patent of addition shall not be granted before the grant of the patent for main invention. Section 55 Term of Patents of Addition Subsection 1 a patent of addition shall be granted for a term equal to that of the main invention patent or so much thereof as has not expired and shall remain in force during that term or until the previous seizure of the patent for the main invention and no longer. That is term of patent of addition is the same as the term of patent of the main invention. Provided that if the patent for the main invention is revoked, then the court, as may be the case, the controller on request made to him by the patentee in prescribed manner, may order that the patent of addition shall become an independent patent for the remainder term of the patent for the main invention and the patent shall continue in force as an independent patent accordingly. Say if the main invention is revoked and it was granted for 20 years, as we all know, term of patent is 20 years. Now say after 5 years, it is revoked. Now patent of addition is granted thereafter. Then that patent of addition will have the term of the remained term of the main invention. That is, if 5 years has already been gone, 
then the remaining term of 15 years will be the term of the patent of addition. Subsection 2. No renewal fees shall be payable in respect of patent of addition, but if any such patent becomes an independent patent under subsection 1, the same fees will be payable upon the same day as if the patent had been originally granted as an independent patent. Section 56. Validity of Patents of Addition. Subsection 1. The grant of patent of addition shall not be refused or revoked or invalidated on the ground only that the invention claimed in complete specification does not involve any inventive step regarding the publication or use of main invention or improvement or modification of the main invention. And the validity of patent of addition shall not be questioned on the ground that the invention ought to have been the subject of an independent patent. That is, if there is no disclosure of inventive step in the complete specification of patent of addition, then that will not be the ground of refusal or revocation or invalidation of grant of patent of addition. Because the inventive step is already been disclosed in the complete specification of main invention. And patent of addition is the improvement or modification of the main invention. Thus, it is quite obvious that the patent of addition is also having inventive step. Subsection 2. For the removal of doubts, it is declared that in determining the novelty of the invention claimed in complete specification of patent of addition, regard shall be had also to the complete specification in which the main invention is described. That is, novelty of the invention described in complete specification for application of patent of addition regards to the complete specification of the main invention. Relevant rule is rule 13, sub rule 3. Specification of patent of addition contains reference number to the patent application of the main invention and statement stating invention claimed is improvement or modification claimed in complete specification of the patent application for the main invention. Now, when improvement can be considered as patentable? Improvement on something known before or combination or different matter already known should be something more than a mere workshop improvement. It must independently satisfy the taste of invention. Combination must produce new result or new article or better or cheaper article than before. Combination of old integers may also be combined that by their working interrelation, they produce a new process or improved result. And mere collection of more than one integers or more than one things not involving exercise of inventive faculty does not qualify for the grant of patent. A relevant case law in this regard can be mentioned as Vishwanath Prasad Radheshwam versus Hindustan Metal Industry, 1982. Here is a relevant form and fee regarding these sections. Intellectual thanks all the viewers for watching the video. Please give a like and please share and subscribe the channel Intellectual. We are providing the necessary informations regarding all the sections, rules, forms and fees coming under Indian Patents Act 1970, which we believe will be very helpful during the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thank you all.